Hey everybody, welcome back. It's going to be a short video today. Recently, a viewer asked how to set up a YubiKey to work with Google accounts. So I'm going to show you that so you can sign into Google in a more secure fashion. Let's get right to it. Okay, so I'm signed into my Google account. I'm at the home screen. And no matter where you are in your Google account, whether it be Gmail, Drive, Calendar, YouTube, if you come up to your account icon and click on Manage Your Google Account, it will take you to this screen. So now that we have that out of the way, let's come over to the left menu. We're going to click on the security link. The first thing we're going to do is scroll down to where it says signing into Google. And you're going to need to have two-step verification enabled. Now, if it's not enabled, go ahead and enable that. If you're not sure what two-step verification is or how to enable it, I have a video on that. Just click the link up above. So we're going to assume that you have two-step verification enabled for this process. So let's go ahead and click on two-step verification. And now it's asking me to sign in just to confirm it is me. So now it's asking for a confirmation to make sure it's me. So I'm going to actually have it send a text to my phone. And this is not very secure. So quite frankly, this is why we're doing the YubiKey setup. So now that we've been authenticated, we're going to come down and we're going to select another method of sign-in, and that's using the security key. So we're going to click on security key, and here we're going to click on add security key. So now it's asking us to insert and touch our YubiKey, so I'm going to do that now. Allow this site to see your security key. We're going to say allow. And now I'm going to give the security key a name. And now it says two-step verification is on for your account and your security key is ready to use. If you wanted to add a second security key, you can do that by just repeating the process here. And that's a good practice if you have multiple keys. But now let's go ahead and get signed out and sign in using the new YubiKey setup. I'm going to sign in with the Quick Tech demo. It's asking for my password. We're going to say next. And now you see here we're being prompted to use the security key. So I'm just going to go ahead and touch it. And you see it's, we're all set. And now it says here, don't ask again on this device. For right now, I'm just going to uncheck that and click next. And you can see I'm signed successfully into my demo one account. Okay, so what happens if you don't have your YubiKey with you or you lose it? Well, actually having a second one set up and registered is a good idea, but let me show you what some of your other options are. So I'm going to click back on the Demo1 account to sign back in. Okay, so here I'm being prompted to insert the security key and touch it, but what if I don't have it or what if I lost it? I'm going to click on Cancel. It's going to say there was a problem, but we're going to click on Try Another Way. And then here you have other options to sign in. So I'm going to just say get a verification code. And now you can see I'm successfully signed in. In the event that I actually lost the security key and didn't have a second one registered, I just simply have to remove it, unlink it from the Google account. So we'll come over to security. We're going to scroll down to where it says signing into Google, just like we did before. Click on two-step verification. And then here you could see the available steps for two-factor authentication. We're going to go ahead and click on the YubiKey. And then here you can see we have the option to remove it. And finally, if you want more information on the YubiKey, go to yubicode.com. I'll put a link down below. Or if you already own a YubiKey and are wondering if it's compatible with Google, here's the list right here you can see on the screen. Simple setup, secure, easy to use, and it works with all of these series. And finally, Yubico is not sponsoring this video. I purchased the keys that I have with my own funds. Again, if you want more information, go to yubico.com. Link will be down in the video description. So there you go, a short video on how to set up the YubiKey to work with the Google account. And if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you, as I do in every video, for using my Amazon affiliate links down below. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. Once again, 
My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.